guys, I'm going through an old hard drive that I've got. It has some old videos from back in 2012, 2013, maybe a couple a little bit later on than that. And uh, trying to put something together, trying to get them off my hard drive, get it all cleared up. And I thought I'd try to put it together so I could share it with you guys. Uh, in this video here that I'm putting together, it, it, it's, it's about some bobcats. Uh, the first one is uh, up there in the same place. I'll put a link to the video of where I, this last th Throwback Thursday that I, that I showed. Uh, I'll put the link to that video right here. And it's that same ridge. I had a lion track going up on that ridge. And I started out trailing that line. It was an old track, but we were trailing it, poking along, poking along. We went off the edge, you know. The wind was blowing real hard to start with. And strange thing was, there was another, uh, some other dogs down. The rancher's dogs down below me was down in that canyon. They were trailing. But they were trailing the opposite direction of where my dogs were trailing. So I went, I stayed up on top, went all the way down to the end there, and I watched the dogs, and they finally, they worked their way down and got into a rock pile down there. This is pretty good dog work. But it is rougher than hell. We got Missy, Shine, Lily, Cleo, Sissy's with them too. She's not saying anything. And I and I thought they had I thought they had a lion caught in there. I think they got it caught right in that pile of rocks. Right there. I guess I got to figure out a way to get over there. And they milled around. They barked here and there and. And I thought, well, you know, I better go down there and check. So I took off down that hill. And I mean, it's a rough, old, steep, you know, nasty old hill. And, and I got down there, and they trailed out of there. And they took off, and they went down further, and they hit the, hit the canyon, and they trailed up. And, and uh, one of the dogs of the, from the rancher peeled off and went with my dogs. Well, it wasn't in that pile of rocks. Our helper dogs ended up be Randy Lindsay's. And they were going back down the canyon. I got my dogs down here and they started going up the canyon. And they're just trailing to beat hell up there. Now Randy's dogs were trailing pretty slow going back this way. But I, that don't mean anything. they go up past the road and up through there it's going to be tough but hey that's doobie it must be pretty fresh here comes one of randy's dogs back this this is one of his pups here we go and uh he really didn't do anything he just kind of hung out with us and and my dogs trailed back around trailed up on top and Finally, they ended up going down into the canyon there and catching the bobcat. After all this, they got it caught down there in the bottom. They're all barking treed. It says they're all treed on the GPS. <laughs> I've walked back and forth around this mountain three times. I'm about war smooth out. <laughs> They're chopping on that tree. Oh. Oh. They're loving it. Wish I was about 50 pounds lighter. But I'm gonna make it. Got a little adrenaline going now. Wish I was on my mule. Hell with being 50 pounds lighter. They're down in the bottom of that rough sucker. Jeez. But the way they sound, I'm sure they're looking at it. So we got Shine, HB, 
Cleo and Missy. They did all the work. Uh, Doobie heard him and he ran down there. So that's a good thing. So I've got Sid Savages or Randy Lindsay's dogs, whoever that is, with me. Yeah, they got a tree right down there. They're all barking trees right there. So I'm going down there. You can kind of you can see them down there. Must be in a tall tree. Anyway, here I go. They're sitting there treeing like they can see it. Well, all that work. He's up there. Good dogs! Good dogs! Good dogs! Good dogs! Good dogs! Good dogs! And then I've got some footage of a guy that... My phone's ringing. I better see who it is. I'll be right back. I'm back. Anyway, then, then I have a little bit of video. I had a friend of mine that was a trapper. He trapped bobcats. And, and he called me and said that he thought he had a lion that got in his trap. And uh, asked me if I'd come trail it up, you know. So I went up there and I trailed it up. But it wasn't a lion. It was a big old bobcat. And, and uh, I got a little bit of video of that. I don't know what's going on. They're stuck. Stuck right there. Lily, Lily thinks she's got it going back out this way. No, they're still going right around circles right there. They get right there, they trail right to that one spot right there where Solo is. Boom. And they can't go anywhere further. I don't know, Missy's got a terrible voice too. I'll give them a while, see if they can work it out. And then uh, I also have some video when my grandson and I went bobcat, or we went hunting. We went to an area where I trailed a lion before, and uh, we we trailed the bobcat. I actually got the bobcat jumped and seen him, and uh, he played some tricks on the dogs and us and got away from us. Where you need the dogs are? Right over there. We seen the bobcat jump out and run straight across through there. About how many minutes ago you think, Layton? About five. Or not not very five. long. Not, very, not even five, like 30 seconds. This is typical. They can't, they can't pick up their heads and run it. And Jazz, of all things, is leading the, is she's leading it. Or either that or we didn't see him until he ran up and over and he ran that way. So they're still, they might be 15 minutes behind him, but they're all, I mean, Shine, Solo, Missy, and Jazz, even. They're all trailing him. They've been barking or opening up on the other side. Anyway. What do you think, Leighton? Hope we catch him. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way. He was... He was booking it across there, and they just can't trail them fast enough in this greasewood country. And I was kind of anxious to see if they, if they go out over the top the way that bobcat went, or what happens. It's good practice for them, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, you kind of see the disappointment in my grandson's eyes. But anyway, I'll, I'll keep trying to go through some of this old footage on that. that it's an 8-terabyte hard drive, and I mean that thing is just full. But so much of it is bad audio, bad video and and stuff you know i've one of the things was when we 
with the GoPro or the Verb or even your phone to an extent, your phone's better. But when you get something in a tree, all you see is a shadow. I mean, you can't, you don't, they don't have any zoom or anything. And you, so you, you, you point the camera up in the tree and it takes in the light from behind the tree and then you don't see anything in the tree. So, I mean, I'll go through a lot of that and, and try to get as much of that edited and, and, and put together in some kind of form. Maybe, as, as much as anything, I'll put it up and, you know, if you guys like it, you know, hit that like button and, and comment. You know, if you want to ask me some questions, just ask. I try to do my best to answer every comment, good or bad. I, you know, I, sometimes you get some of these yay who PETA people that I have no use for whatsoever. So I might, you know, I might try to, if they ask an intelligent question or they, and, and I feel like I can answer it in such a way that I might be able to educate them, then I will answer it. But if they get asked stupid questions or anything, I just delete the comments. Most of you guys probably never even see them, but anyway uh hope you enjoy it uh like it oh, you know wait a minute let me let me add this right in here too you know with with running bobcats with with the hounds in this country at least you know i know down in south texas those guys they run bobcats with running type dogs and and catch a lot of bobcats and i've never been down there i've never experienced that type of hunt but from what i understand those guys their bobcats are like our jackrabbits there's just that many of them and then up in oregon you know that's a big tradition running bobcats up there and i've never been up there and experienced that either so i don't know anything about it the thing that i do know is that here in this country a lot of the lion hunters do not let their dogs their lion hounds run bobcats and and i mean one of the reasons is that you know sometimes you know to Finding the lion track is as big as catching the lion. I mean, in in this country, that because they they're so few and far between, and so if you're going out there trying to get on a, a runnable lion track, shoot, you might cross five or six bobcat tracks before you get to that lion track. So if your dogs are piddling around with a bobcat track and 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 you're in type of country where they can't really catch it, then there's really no sense in messing with it. Now me, I, I let my dogs run bobcats. You know, I keep thinking that maybe eventually I'll get where I can consistently catch them. But I, I have, so far I haven't. But uh, I know there's a guy down the river here that catches some and he really enjoys it. But I, you know, I go back and forth with that. I do the same thing with bears. I go back and forth whether I should run bears or not run bears. Typically, I don't let my dogs run bears. I try to discourage them. Mainly because it's just... Uh, balls to the wall kick and spur and going out of the country race you know and 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 it's just it's not like trailing a lion where you get to stay with the hounds and you get to see where the lion travels and and uh, i i enjoy that as much as anything so anyway uh if you like you know uh right there right here subscribe hit that if you want to see other videos uh here's uh links to some more videos on my channel watch those let me know comment subscribe like do all that stuff thank you <laughs>